what scares you the most? Hang on, Vinny Lou! Three, two, one. It's alive! Alive! Hi, I'm Ricky. And I'm Jamie. So, Ricky, what kind of things make you nervous? The unknown. I don't mm -hmm. like not knowing things. Spiders make me nervous. Oh, really? And, like uh, big spiders, small spiders, just any kind? Just spiders of all kinds, except for Spider-Man. He's he's cool. Uh, what about you? If I were standing at the top of a skyscraper, like on the edge, yeah, and looking down, yes, yep. that would terrify me. Worms also totally gross me out. I don't like their texture. I don't like the way they move. They just wiggle. They're unpredictable. Ugh. Well, speaking of the unknown, I'm very nervous about what challenges we have this month because we're talking all about fear, and I don't know what they're gonna ask us to do. Agreed. But you know what helps beat nerves? Fire. Courage. Courage makes Courage. sense as well. Yes, but before we go much further with that, let's get a black and white definition of helpful fears and unhelpful fears. But suppose you are afraid of something, like dogs or, or, or the dark. What can you do about it? Well, each time you're afraid, try to understand whether there's really something to be afraid of. If you're afraid when there's real danger, you can learn ways of protecting yourself. Fear at the right time will make you careful. But how can you tell when there's a real danger or not? Just stop and think. Common sense will often help. Then too, try to remember or find out whether other people are afraid of the same things you are. For instance, Kathy could see that you were playing with the dog and that the dog didn't hurt you. She could know from that that there was nothing to be afraid of. That's right. So what Kathy needed to do was to try to understand why she was afraid of dogs. Maybe just getting to know some dogs would have helped her get over her fears. That's what she did do, Mom. Her dad bought her a little puppy to play with. It was the cutest little thing. We all loved it, especially Kathy. That was last summer. Her dog's big now. Kathy took good care of him. He got to know dogs so well that she isn't a bit afraid of them anymore. I guess that's what you mean by getting to know and understand the thing you're afraid of. Yeah. Keith got over his fear of the water by taking swimming lessons with a teacher he trusted and believed in. Yeah, he can swim pretty well now. There's another thing you can do to help yourself get over a fear when there's no real danger, and that's to talk about your fear with somebody. Like we're doing now. That's right. You could talk it over with your parents, friends, your teacher, your doctor, <laughs> someone you're fond of, Boo! trust. I got you. If Frank had only I scared his you. And I scared you. Fear that they might stop I bet him if his report card you over there. Good, yeah, I saw you. You beat a little bit, didn't you? <laughs> of course, his parents didn't realize he felt that way. Perhaps I'm, uh, they expected too much of Frank. I'm jump scared Jimmy. And funny. I'm the Frank's king of the jump scares. I'm, he was afraid I'm behind he was every corner. Good. And you never know Talking when you might find me next. So watch out. It helped all of them understand each other better. As they talked over his work and work habits and what they expected of him, Frank got over his fear of making poor grades. Hey Loop, it's Leslie. Have you ever had to do something scary, like giving a presentation or like finding a seat in the cafeteria, maybe even uh, playing a sport at school? Well, for me, that scary thing is singing and playing guitar in front of other people. And it's kind of ridiculous because I've been doing it for years now. I mean, I probably have done it at least a thousand times. I'm not even kidding. I was in this band, this band, this collective, this band, my own band, leading worship at church, leading worship at a camp, singing at weddings. And I even made a music video for Switch. I'm holding on. Like for years of my life, that's all I did. And you would think that by now, I wouldn't be afraid of it. But no, every single time. I have to do this. Is there any way I cannot have to do this? I can't believe I said yes to this. <laughs> like I've been dealing with fear my whole life and it's the worst. Take for instance, the last time that I had to get on stage and sing and play in front of people. Guitar. For me, fear shows up as hiding in the bathroom. Hi, I'm totally hiding in the bathroom before we go on stage. Over prepping my notes, pacing around the space before the event begins, returning to the bathroom, 
this is what I do before I go on stage to try to get myself psyched up. Um, to, I don't know, freak out, give myself another pep talk. I think, it's, I think it's gonna go well. There's definitely parts that I'm a little bit nervous about. Take a long walk, try to find some peace, start to pray, and then this moment, which is the worst, oh, and then it's game time. and you just do it. Don't chicken out. You say, you know what? Here we are, and I'm doing this. And yes, my hands are shaking, and my heart is racing, and I am terrified, but I'm gonna do this. And listen, Luke, that is courage. It's not about not being scared. It's about doing it even though you're scared. So yeah, I've been dealing with fear my whole life, but that also means that I've been dealing with courage my whole life too. To my scared friends, listen, it's us, the scared ones, that have the most opportunity to work out our courage. Have a good week. Cast your cares on the Lord And He will sustain you He will never let He will never let The righteous be shaken The righteous be shaken Cast your cares on the Lord And He will sustain you He will never let He will never let The righteous be shaken Okay, mm -hmm. I don't know where our challenge is, Jamie. Oh, oh, well, I bet this card will help. Oh, okay. Speed drawing challenge, yay! yay! In one minute, draw something you were afraid of when you were younger. Okay. When the minute is up, discuss your drawing. Okay. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, sounds good. All right, so I'm currently drawing a car. It looks like donuts, but I'm not afraid of cars. That's not the the fear. Oh. Something else. Yep, this, this is Trunk. from my memory. How much time do we have? First. Okay, cool. So here is my drawing. It looks like a car with fireworks, but it's actually a car in a car wash. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's... these are supposed to be those big wipey things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it used to scare me, and so I used to hide in the floorboard when I was a kid. Let's hear about yours. Okay, so mine is a bulldog. Um, so my dad had this statue of a bulldog, and I was terrified of it. Aww. And I was afraid to tell my dad I was afraid of it because I didn't want my dad to think I was afraid of anything. I feel like that's a guy thing, to have to pretend like you don't have any fears, but guys have fears too. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it is that guys feel like they can't have fears? Because I think guys are, we have this idea that like, Bravery means like not being afraid of stuff as opposed to, you know, making choices in the face of fear. I think a lot of girls that I know own up to their fears. I did eventually tell my dad. Oh, good. Did he uh, move it? Uh, well, I was a grown adult. And oh. It's <laughs> like, so dad, you know that thing? I was terrified of it. It's like, ah. Oh. Here are our fears car washes and statue dog. <laughs> so there are a lot of fears that we have in different stages of life. Yes, there are fears that we had and have overcome. And then there are fears that we have now and that we still have to deal with. As a kid, I was terrified of, we had like a, like a laundry room 
And I was always scared to go in there because the dryer would make weird noises and I thought it was a monster. When I was younger, I had a fear of garbage disposals. Uh, for good reason, they're terrifying. Um, but I saw this movie once where a woman uh, like shrunk down and accidentally fell into a garbage disposal and that just freaked me out. I was very scared of pizza. I was very scared of pizza because there were so many layers that I didn't understand. So like if I pulled the cheese up, I would like back off and be like, ah, what is that? So I didn't eat pizza until I was like 10. And now I love it. <laughs> the first pizza my mom ever brought home was in everything. And I was like, why is there so many things? <laughs> I was always scared of wasps and like bees and stuff because I was afraid they were going to chase me and kill me. All right. The dark definitely scared me for a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, I actually, this was kind of freaky. I remember one night waking up and I swear I saw these like big yellow eyes coming from the bathroom. I didn't use that bathroom for like a week. So, yeah. I was definitely afraid of getting my picture taken. I don't know why, but um, in every family picture, everyone had their faces and you can only see the back of my head. I was always afraid of walking on the tiles, like the grooves, because of the saying, like, step on a crack and break your mama's back. And I didn't want to break my mom's back, so I just made sure I always stepped on the tile and not the groove. I was afraid that my toys would come alive like Toy Story did, and they would hang out in my room. I was afraid that I was going to slip on a banana peel and crack my head open so I wouldn't eat bananas. I was afraid of bananas because in TV shows, you always saw like characters slipping on banana peels and going to the hospitals. I have a lot of fears in my life now. I fear failing. I fear making a lot of mistakes because I feel like a lot of people will be disapproving of the way that I live because the older I've gotten, the more I've realized that people in my life expect me to conform and be a certain image. I'm afraid of the ocean because there's so many like living things in the ocean and it's like so deep and like it just freaks me out. Like I love the ocean from the beach. I just don't like the idea of being like out in the middle of the ocean. Spiders. I can't do spiders. If the spider's like the size of a quarter, I mean, I'll be freaked out and I'll kill it, but if it's like fist-sized, like, no, somebody else can do it. Definitely public speaking. My biggest fear probably is of the unknown. I don't like taking risks because if I don't, like, because I don't know what's going to happen if I take the risk. I'm scared of, like, not fulfilling, like, my potential. Like, I know God's plan, but at the same time, like, I'm scared I won't fulfill it like living up to what I'm supposed to be doing. Being alone. I just feel uns like not safe. I feel like if there's people around me, I'm safe because they can protect me. Okay, well, I'm gonna be a senior this year. Um, gotta think about college and think about what I wanna do with my life and trying to find that direction, that's a hard thing. Um, it's a scary thought. Uh, another thing is that I have a lot of expectations placed on my shoulders, and one of my biggest fears is letting everybody down, so. I think I'm afraid of failing because I'm afraid of, like, not being successful when, like, I'm older. Like, even though I'm young, I sometimes, like, tend to worry about the future when I shouldn't. It's like I'm worried too much about not being successful. I deal with that fear by studying God's word and being truly implanted in him and knowing who I am and identifying myself with him. And if I'm living a way that isn't offensive to my God, why should I care how other people view me? I try to like get into a mindset of like, um, God already has everything planned out for me and I just need to trust that instead of worrying about it all the time. And things just felt great. Um, anytime I just overcome a fear or do something scary and whenever you do it, it just feels amazing. And I mean, I think fear is not always a bad thing. I think that if we're not getting scared every now and then, then we're probably not doing what God's called us to do. I think sometimes we gotta find comfort in being uncomfortable. I pray and then I just go to my friends for encouragement so they can boost me and help me feel better. 
I mean, I give it to God. I know that I did everything that I possibly could. Um, and if I didn't, then I know that that's something I need to fix. Um, but if I do end up letting somebody down and I gave everything I could, I mean, I can't hold on to that. Like, it'll make me feel crappy for a little bit, but give it to God and move on. So fear comes in stages. Maybe it was when you were younger, you were fearful of the, the monster under your bed or the monster in your closet. But as you've gotten older, your, your fears have progressed into things that are real, that are right there in front of you. Maybe it's the fear of being lonely. That's real. Maybe it's the, the fear of talking to your crush. Or maybe the, the, the fear of what other people think about you. The real things. There's this verse in the Bible in the book of Psalms where we're commanded to cast our cares or our worries or our doubts. We're, we're supposed to give them to God. The second part of the verse says, for he will sustain us. Basically what he's saying is, I'll stand with you. I'll be there. In the midst of your fears, I'll be there with you. Imagine the creator of the universe, God himself, standing with you in the midst of your fear, looking at you and saying, we've got this. There's another verse in the Bible that talks about how God's love drives out fear. He's saying, he's saying that fear is real, but my love won't let it stay. Whatever stage that you're on, do not let fear be the mask that you wear. Understand that God wants to drive that fear out of your life. So in that fear, pray, God, remove this from my life so I can be better for you, so I can have courage for you, so I can lead others to you. So Jamie, what helped you to conquer your fear of car washes? Well, I think it was the fact that whenever I turned 16 and I had my own car and I had to go through a car wash, I just kind of had to get over it because I needed to wash my car. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes your fears are helpful. And sometimes they are not. Remember that nerves are an opportunity for God to push out fear and to work out your courage. So when fear shows up this week, remember that God walks with you and he will give you the courage to move on. And until next time, enjoy, enjoy the, the ride! ride. Hey, thanks for watching us talk about our fears. Ah! Okay, you make the car wash noise, I'll make a dog noise. <laughs> Let us know what you used to be afraid of when you were a kid in the comments below. That's not a dog sound. That's woof, a woof. <laughs>